What's up, you guys? What's going on, homies? In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Guys, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are taking care of yourself. Hope you guys are living a life free of stress and worry. And I hope you guys have a positive, positive mental attitude. Or I hope you guys had a positive mental attitude today. These cars. Alright, so I was kind of unsure what... I wanted to talk about today, but I, I didn't know if I wanted to talk about um, like the re the reliability of the New Testament because that, that's a very important topic. Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to talk about um, was Jesus a actual real person or was he a myth? Um, it was another topic I want to talk about, but it kind of really wasn't important. But I settled on Jesus, Son of God. Because I feel like this, this topic is so important because so many people just don't understand it. And like one of my mentors says all the time we human beings we're creatures of repetition and we usually have to hear something eight seven to eight times to really grasp it so you hear something once it doesn't really stick you might hear it two three times it still doesn't really stick in your brain you have to continuously hear this thing over and over to really understand and grasp it. So, today, oh, I was going to talk about smoking because I know some of y'all probably have questions about why I'm smoking and stuff like that, especially as a Christian. So, I'll just address that real quick. Can you smoke and drink as a Christian? Well, drinking, yeah, obviously, yeah, that's a yes. What the Bible prohibits for Christians is getting drunk. So depending on who you are, you know, your body size, your weight and all that, you have to factor in that by yourself. will determine how much you can drink. Um, alcohol is not bad. Wine is not bad. Having a glass of an alcoholic beverage is not sinful. What is sinful is drinking to excess. All right, Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our God, his first miracle was turning water into wine and provided that wine for a whole slew of people at a wedding, at a celebration. So there's that. Now, as far as smoking, to my knowledge, the Catholic Church has never condemned smoking. Now, here I am smoking a cigar. This is a mini cigar. It has a special name. Uh, I don't know the name for this, but I'm just smoking a cigar usually. I, I like the shorter ones, but I smoking cigarettes, smoking weed are very different than smoking a cigar because cigar smoke is not going into your lungs, you're not inhaling it. And also there are health benefits to smoking cigars. I don't know of any health benefits for smoking cigarettes, so I would not include cigarettes in that category. Weed is a different story. We'll talk about weed at a later. So there is that. So, yes. As a Christian, you can smoke and drink. It should be moderated smoking and drinking. And your attitude towards both of these things should be take it or leave it. Um, having a, an addiction to smoking or drinking is uh, a spiritual defect.
So with cigars, I enjoy smoking a cigar. I don't need to smoke a cigar. Um, if someone offers it to me, I can take it. Or at other times, I can uh, refuse it. Right? It's not like I need to smoke a cigar. I'm not addicted to it. Uh, therefore, it's not sinful and it's not really harming my health. Same with drinking. Um, I don't drink to excess anymore. Yeah, I used to get drunk in the past. Now, I will usually have only a glass. I will usually only have a glass or two of wine or whiskey is what I normally drink nowadays. But I usually cap that at two glasses. There have been two occasions where I've had three. Or I had, one time I had like about two and a half beers. And that was really pushing it for me. So I know my limit. My cap is at two. For other people it might be different. Um, before or after you start to feel like you're heading toward drunkenness. But... Again, it depends on, you know, how big you are, your weight, your height, your size, uh, your relationship to drinking. Like, do you have an uh, addictive personality? All sorts of stuff like that to factor in. But anywho, this video isn't about smoking and drinking per se. I wanted to really talk about... Jesus, the Son of God. Now, a lot of people like to say Jesus is King, which is true. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the Messiah. This, these things are all true. Jesus is the Son of God, by the way, too. I personally just like to say Jesus is God. That just makes things very simple and plain and clear for a lot of people because because right a lot of you Christians don't actually know the Bible don't actually know your beliefs and I'm not gonna you know come on this video and say yeah I'm Mr. Bible right um, I yes I've read the Bible a few times but there's still so many things that I don't know about the Bible. But what I do know is that Son of God means God. Okay? Son of God means God. We Christians are Trinitarians. That means that we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three in one. Three persons, one being. These three persons share one divine nature. Now, let's break it down. Son of God means God. Let's, let's rewind it for a little bit, right? So, I am a human being. The being that I am is human. The person... I am is called Cornelius. Simple. You guys get it? <laughs> now, if Cornelius, if the person Cornelius, also the human being, has a son, what will that son be? Well, that son will be a different person, but a human being, just like his father, who is also a human being. Now, let's move from humans to God so that you guys can really understand this. The father obviously 
is God. If the Father has a son, what will that son be? Think about it for a second, right? The Father, right, who is God, he is this God being. If he has a son, that son will also be a God being. So by default, that means that the son is God. Case closed. The end. Son of God literally means God. Now, Son of God in the Bible is used in different, is applied to different other people and is used in multiple ways. But when it's talking about Jesus, it is being used in a very unique way, in a way that no other person, it, that Son of God is not being applied to any other person except for Jesus in this one specific way. And that way is monogenes, or how is this it? Mono, monogenes? Monogenes. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I, I like saying monogenes, right? So yeah, the, the word in Greek is monogenes, which means a unique, one-of-a-kind son of God. Nobody else is called monogenes except for Jesus. Jesus is son of God by nature. Everyone else is son of God by participation or by adoption. So, like, yes, us humans, we are sons of God, but not by nature, by adoption. When we accept Jesus Christ, we become sons and daughters of God. But Jesus wasn't adopted. He was always son of God because that was his nature. So, hopefully, I gave you all something to wrap your heads around. And for all you Christians out there, please, go learn, study your religion, study your faith. And please stop saying, no, Jesus wasn't God. He's the son of God. You idiot. You idiots. Son of God means God. Jesus is God, bro. Stupid. <laughs> Only coming from Christians. Christians that don't read the Bible. Now, again, I'm not perfect okay i don't read the bible every day i know i should i know i should read it a lot more and in fact i'm about to end this live in a couple minutes so i can go read the bible and do some other studying we got a couple people in the building we're gonna say what's up send some waves you guys i appreciate y'all tuning into my lives You guys, I really, no, I really appreciate you tuning into my lives and y'all supporting because I'm going to say in a few months, in a, in a few months, I'm going to be able to just do this full time and uh, make a living doing this. So again, <laughs> I love you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. This is truly an honor and a blessing. Um, I've always dreamed about doing something like this. I've always dreamed about, you know, being in a position to where I don't have to work for someone else. I can make my own hours. I can do something that I love and actually make a living at it. So this is pretty awesome that um, you guys are help 
helping, supporting me live out my dreams. It's lit. <laughs> but by no means, right? Don't don't think that you know what I do was easy at all. This this has been a constant a constant grind. We are not lit. This has been a constant grind. And um you know, I can pull up the screenshots from when I first started posting videos, right? It's not funny, <laughs> but it's funny. I'm going to tell you, if y'all want to do this YouTube stuff, the only way that you can win is consistency. The only way that you can win is consistency. All right, I'm going to put the screenshots up one day for y'all. And y'all will see, I had videos, zero, zilch, nor views for weeks. Nobody was watching these videos, but consistency, I just kept posting it, kept posting it. Same thing with the gym. When I would wake up every day, if y'all are, if y'all are tuned in here, then that means y'all are tapped in on YouTube and y'all are tapped into my Instagram stories too. There was a long period of time where nobody was watching. I'm just talking to myself. Or for instance, I'm just talking to one person. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. And then, okay, maybe some people watch it back on the replay. But still, to go from no people to millions that's a huge honor that, that's a huge blessing and if I can do it anybody can do it and the cheat code the, the answer is stay consistent don't care about what anyone else says or thinks do what you love talk about what you like to talk about and keep it moving As you can see, with, with this channel, the only thing that I talk about is religion, relationships, cigars, music, my kids, wine, all things that I love. And you literally could do the same thing. And it doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, if you're super tech savvy or... Um, like really good with editing then that would just help boost your engagement and your views and stuff because your videos will be a lot more engaging a lot cooler to look at but I mean it, it's really not hard it's not easy but it's simple it's not easy but it's simple I always forget to wave at people while they in here. You guys forgive me. I see y'all pop in. I used to wave and say what's up as soon as y'all popped in, but sometimes that would just throw off my train of thought. The other thing too with this this whole live. Hey, y'all saw that mosquito, right? Man, these mosquitoes be harassing me. Anyways, <laughs> the um. The thing with live videos is once the camera comes on, it's like your whole mind goes blank. So you really gotta learn to get comfortable. Camera on, camera off. Camera's off, man, I just be talking. I, I be hitting every single point that I wanna talk about. And then it's like, all right, I need, I need to turn the camera on and remember all these points that I just said. Once the camera comes on, brain fart, <laughs> nothing's coming out. I'm stuttering. 
I'm just like a mumbling buffoon. It's terrible. But this is all a learning process. We just having fun. We having fun and we taking it serious too. Because although I deeply appreciate the position that I'm in, excuse me, and the opportunities that I've been given, um, I would never piss on my job or any opportunity that someone has given to me because it is invaluable. Right? Um, in the great words of Mr. Keep It Simple, a nine to five saves lives. Having a job, a steady paycheck and income, that saves lives, that provides food for families. And I would never, never at this point in my life, piss on or poop on my job. Yeah, there's certain aspects I don't like about my job, but eh, suck it up, right? This job is providing food and shelter for my family, for my kids. My kids got clothes. My kids got food. They got everything they need because of this job. Is it the best job in the world? No. At the same time? Does it give me a platform and an opportunity to springboard me into success? Yes. And so I'm forever grateful for jobs. And you should too. There's a lot of people out there that hate their jobs. Hey, there's somebody. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> There is somebody. There is somebody who would kill to be in your position. There is somebody who would kill to have the job that you have just so that they could get some bread to get some food. So, change your perspective on life. See how much you have, how God has truly blessed you. Stop complaining. You know, sometimes it's good to take a step outside of your situation and change the perspective. Look at your life from a different angle. You truly be amazed at what you have. Life is good. Life is hard. Hey, but wouldn't want it any other way. Finally, you guys, finally, we got some peace and quiet out here. Wow, right when I said some cars coming by. <laughs> Finally, we got some peace in it. Cars come strolling by. Uh, you guys, if you're in Europe right now watching this, drop an E in the chat for me. And if we got any Christians in the chat right now, drop a three. Let's see some threes in the chat. Put your threes up for the Trinity. Man, all right, you guys got to look at this. This is beautiful. Man, look at that. We got the sun setting on this beautiful German evening. We got the moon in the sky. Y'all see the moon right there? just 
chilling. Excuse my ghetto ness, okay? I really try to be proper. I didn't feel like grabbing a wine glass, so we're drinking out the bottle. Excuse me. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? wife told me she was cooking dinner. I forgot what she said she was cooking. But we're not going to be eating until <laughs> the kids go to sleep. So that we can eat in peace. But that will be in about half an hour. Nah, about an hour. You guys, I don't want to end the live right now. I'm having a really good time just hanging out with y'all, chilling. I'm usually in such a rush that, like, I don't, I feel like I don't give a good amount of time to, like, really shoot a live stream because I've always got so much to do. But today I got time. <laughs> No, for real. When y'all see me do lives, where am I? I'm always in the whip, heading somewhere. So it's like, all right, I got maybe 10, 15 minutes from when I get from my house to point B. That's that's it. That's all the time y'all get for a live. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, in the future, leave a comment if y'all if y'all like the 10 minute live streams or if y'all want it to be longer we can go longer You guys. I'm gonna say this last thing. And then we're gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna chop it up with y'all tomorrow. Smoking is not for everyone. Okay? To each his own. Alright? Never feel pressure to smoke. Alright? Never feel pressure to do anything. If you don't want to. But if you do decide to smoke. Cigars is the way to go. Alright. Cigarettes. BS. Weed. And. Eh, only if you truly need it. For medical reasons. Cigars is the way to go. Alright. A lot of people say Cubans. I say anything from Dominican Republic. Love my Dominican. Shout out DR. And anything from Nicaragua. So yeah, definitely DR and Nicaragua. Anything from South America, you straight with it. But um, yeah, you guys go Google. Health benefits of cigar smoking. Right, I'm going to give you one. There there was like four that I read about. Um, one of them is that... I believe it's the nicotine. It has positive effects against Parkinson's disease. Crazy. Yeah, I know. It's a couple other diseases that cigar, nicotine help with but 
the main one I remember is Parkinson's. Crazy, yeah. soak up this beautiful sunset painting, finish my cigar, finish my wine, enjoy the rest of my night, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening, or afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world, I love you guys, and I hope that y'all have an amazing, an amazing day, I'm out.